currently, right now, I'm getting out $800 to buy Nintendo games. I'm currently in the parking lot of a bank doing what my hat says and being on the NES pursuit. I was looking on OfferUp the other night and this guy had a bunch of Nintendo games all pieced out and he actually has some of the lower dollar games that are like under $20 that I actually really need still. But the more I started looking at all of his stuff, I was like, yeah, he has like $1,200 worth of games here. Whoa. I wonder what he would do if I just bought all of them. And after talking to him for quite some time, we realized that we've actually done offer up deals in the past together. And he was like, listen, if you just take them all, you want to take all of them, I will knock off hundreds of dollars and give you all of these for 800 bucks. And, and with that, my, my, my old days of the NES pursuit got to me, the old Retro Liberty days, and I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna buy all of these Nintendo games, keep the ones I want, and the Phoenix resale in me is like, yeah, and I'll flip the rest to get the money back and buy more. This is gonna be awesome. I cannot wait to go pick up the games. Let's go do it right now. Let's get that money. <laughs> okay, for Nintendo games. Yay! If I only knew when I was a kid that I'd be doing this, I would've blown my own mind. they are. I can see them. Piles of games, piles of games. <laughs> All right. I didn't tell him we're filming, so let's see how he feels. Wow. There you go. So that's them, huh? That is them. Wow. So yeah, you kind of had them separated into stacks, like, and I think that was really cool. Made it easy to do this as you had kind of like, these ones are kind of the 10-ish dollar games. These ones are the, so there's the Contras in there. There's some of the more you know, thirty to forty dollar games in there, which I can show you guys later. But man, this have you? So, are you a collector as well as a seller, or just sell? I or collect, you yeah. collect? Okay. This ends up being the extras. That I know. I don't, I don't know what to do with. Story of my life, dude. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I don't remember the last time I picked up this many Nintendo games. I mean, it's probably been like when I first started my show, like. Yeah, I remember. I remember we talked about that. Yeah. Just a heads up, the Russian attack is actually Mario. That's why I labeled it. I threw that in there as an extra. What? The, no. What? <laughs> so wait, the, it was a, like a reprint label or something, or did it change out board? Yeah, somebody changed the board out. Was, that like, is I, hilarious. I bought it, and then I, would, I checked the board before I sold it, and then it was that. So. It is. It is now a rare variant. It is. <laughs> yeah. it cool, is. man. But uh, you now have the task of doing whatever you want with these. Yeah, I'll pick out what I want to keep and then flip the rest. So that, that's what I told them before is I'm going to keep what I want and then flip some of the rest and hopefully be able to just, you know, even break even if I have to at that point just to get the stuff that's I want. That's what I do too. So that's, the, that's the circle. That's what I told them that's on offer. I'm like, as long as I could, you know, not lose money and get what I want, I'm good. I'm happy. Yeah, exactly. Sweet, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. What, what else do you have for sale? So I am going to start loading up all of these games. This is uh, honestly besides, you know, getting uh, what I want, so to say, this just feels different, man. This is hit, it's actually hitting me kind of nostalgically right now. Like, and I'm not talking about Nintendo itself. I'm talking about our show, Retro Liberty, our old show. It's really hitting me right now. I, I like honestly, like honestly kind of feeling emotional and, and I don't know what it is, but I just don't remember the last time I was able to get so much Nintendo stuff and it kind of reminds me of why I started this channel just in that journey back in the day and actually our episode we say we're looking for anything and everything Nintendo related. And today we're gonna to be looking for some Nintendo games, some Super Nintendo games, some GameCube games, anything Nintendo related. So I don't know, man, it's, it's getting me and I'm, I'm really excited right now. And he's actually going to grab me a Super Mario World and two NES Max controllers as well uh, for only an extra 20 bucks. So what a great deal on those. I actually really like the NES Max controllers as well. One Zulu Niner pre-flight check. Roger Tower. Turbo A. That's a go. Turbo B. Yes. Cycloid control. A-OK. -okay. Rapid fire. All right, let's fire it up. The NES Max, only from Nintendo. All right, there's my last two items. A Super Mario World and two NES Max controllers, which, by the way, I love these. I guess that's an unpopular opinion. I love them, but both of them for 20 bucks. All of this, all of this for 20 bucks. Just like that, I spent $820 and I know I can actually make a little bit on this. Like he said, it's probably, you know, $400 room left for profits on it. But I didn't realize and I didn't see it coming the way it would make me feel. So this was awesome on all levels of not just being able to keep this stuff and being able to also make a profit, but 
just that feeling of pure nostalgia that I wasn't expecting to have and have it hit me that way was just like, that was worth it in itself. That just felt absolutely unreal. I almost, I almost can't get it back and feel like that moment was like a weird euphoria. We actually have played like over 700 Nintendo games together, NES, so. All right, I cannot sit here and show you guys every single game because that would take forever, but you can kind of just get a general idea. I know the lighting is terrible with it behind me right now, but we got games like World GP, which by the way, I never see this out there. Dragon Spirit, The Adventures of Link, Donkey Kong 3, Contra, Punch Out, not Mike Tyson's Punch Out, Maniac Mansion, Tecmo Super Bowl, Turtles, we got A Boy and His Blob back there, which is, by the way, an awesome game, Turtles 3, Turtles 2, Gumshoe, there's multiple copies of Mario 2, multiple copies of these, we got a Game Genie, another Turtles 2, there's Spider-Man right here, which is actually a game that's a little bit harder to find, Total Recall, a bunch of stuff everywhere, guys, just, oh wow, there's two of these, I didn't even know that, that is awesome, wow, I haven't seen this in a while. I feel like I almost never see this cover. Multiples of Rambo. Like I just flipping over a stack right here. I think this is one of the more common stacks right back there. Ooh, a fantastic, one of the best games right there. Oh, look, wait, wait. Look at the sticker on that track and field. All right, I am officially out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching and kind of experiencing this with me and allowing myself to document that because I wasn't expecting that again. But I'm back at my house and it's another day and in the spirit of continuing this and kind of showing things I got. I just got a bunch of stuff that I purchased online that I thought I'd show you guys because it's pretty cool and I feel like I don't show enough of the stuff that I buy. Well, that is probably the most untrue statement I've ever said. I meant in like the clothing world. First thing is this 1992 painter's hat style Gotham Public Works hat. This thing is sick. Painter hats are super cool. I know a lot of people like to wear them with the bill folded up, but I thought it was really cool. I thought you guys would like to see it. Next is this Pac-Man windbreaker, size large. This is actually new. This is one of the items that I got, hello doggy, that is newer, but just a sick, sick style. Beautiful, bright colors. You got it, what, what's, what's happening? You gotta be a little bold to wear this one. Next is definitely my favorite thing I got, which is actually a Bone Thugs and Harmony tie-dye t-shirt. Now, a lot of you might be like, why the heck are you showing us Bone Thugs and Harmony? Well, I am not the biggest fan of rap music, but this was one of my favorite bands, groups growing up. My brother would listen to them all the time and it just became such a household kind of name for us around our house. And I actually just sent the picture to my brother and they were like, please God, let me have that shirt, but I'm keeping this one. Next is this Luigi and Mario t-shirt. I'm not sure if it's vintage or not. It's says XL. It's, it's definitely a youth XL, but I think it is a women's, which I don't even think I realized when I purchased it. So I'll probably be selling this one on whatnot. Just being honest. Full disclosure. <laughs> I almost forgot to show this one. It is a large, newer style, not the vintage style all over print, but I love these. It's kind of like the pressed on all over, but I still love this. Check out the back too. I mean, the graphic is just too cool. Not, I'm probably gonna wear this tomorrow night when I'm hanging out with Chris and Ricky, so beautiful. And, and then I lied, this one actually might be my favorite one. It is a always flying vintage long sleeve t-shirt, obviously with tails on the front. It's got a beautiful little fade right here on all of this, but nice little crackling in here as well. No back hit or anything like that, but I just thought really cool. All right, guys, enjoy your day. That's it. I won't keep you longer. Much love. For Mr.